Welcome back again and tonight we're in conversation with your favourite singer. He's been singing some absolutely fantastic song for everyone here and you're at home, wherever you're watching from, ladies and gentlemen. That's Rajni Kant Raj. Raj, mm -hmm. your mother was born in Uganda, right? Yes, yeah. And your father, family background is from India. Yes, that's And you were born in Uganda. Yes, I was. Tell, I mean, tell me about Uganda when you were growing up as a child. What was it like when you were growing up? Yeah, it was wonderful, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a free country, no mm -hmm. problem at all, mm -hmm. and uh, very playful, going to schools. Mm -hmm. My father was a teacher there, so I was really enjoying the, uh, you know, the musty. <laughs> just just having the, fun as a young yeah, having, kid having growing up. really good fun with uh, <laughs> all the neighbors uh, mm. we had, you know, and mm. uh, we had very good friends. And your education was in Uganda as well? Yes, up to GCA level I, w I, I was uh, in Uganda. I started in primary school, mm -hmm. obviously. So after that you went to secondary school? Secondary school, yeah. Right. I mean, after secondary school you moved here? Or? Yes, after secondary school I moved here to uh, thinking that I'll do further studies. So what sort of cultural difference between Uganda? I mean, I've never had the opportunity to go to Uganda, although I love to go there. But what sort of cultural difference do you feel? I, I think when the Asians were there, it was <laughs> quite a nice environment. The economy was strong and everything. Uh -huh. But uh, then it collapsed because uh, uh, of Idi Amin had a dream to throw out all the Asians. Is a lot of Asian living there or? Um, now yes, because a uh, lot of people from India have gone back to mm -hmm. Uganda mm -hmm. to build up the economy again. Actually, I met a lot of singers as well who came to our show. Okay. They, they were born in Uganda Yeah, a well. lot of people have come from Kampala, Uganda during 1971. So at the age between 17, 18, I mean, I came here, I was came, 18. Uh, eight, yeah, 18 yeah. years also. You went to college here, or what happened? Yeah, I mean, I went to for further studies, then uh, it, I realized that, you know, the classes were such. It's <laughs> some difference because uh, the number of pupils were uh, quite, uh, you know, many in, in terms of classes, you know. Well, there's so too many people. Too many people. Well, here one lecture, it. yeah, and and sometimes it, this is facing this way, like a theater. Uh -huh. So I didn't get it that much. So, so you couldn't really understand. What that's was right, going on. and so I tried for one year. Then mm -hmm. I think, oh, it's best to get a job. So and I started working. Uh, working here. Well, how do they? How do the education system run in, in Uganda? I mean, it was the uh, same Cambridge uh, school certificate. Yeah. Uh, so but you, you just you saying you had less people in the classroom? That's right. Yeah, you had uh, like you know probably what they do now in here, sixteen yeah. roughly. Yeah, sixteen uh, uh, people, uh, people in the in the classroom. Right. But in in when you go to a doing A levels for for the studies, mm -hmm. I see a lot of people, and one lecturer. So uh, it didn't get. So was me. it like a cultural shock to you? Obviously, a different yeah, it place, was a, it different was a country. big shock to me to coming to here. Yeah. And at that time, I also realized that I should have gone to India <laughs> rather than coming to England. <laughs> well, you're in England now, we're going to yes. talk about England. How is it coming to a country where, you know, the culture is different, like you said, the people is different, the education system was different for you. So what was it like when yeah, you Yeah, it was a, a big shock to me. And then, uh, you know, uh, uh, people are very strict in their homes, you know. And uh, you can, I mean, you can use only certain amount of electricity and gas. That's what I had <laughs> in, the, in the beginning. <laughs> and so uh, it was a bit difficult. But then but I got, you're used to it now, I got to used to it after working. So you see, after working, then I got to my house and myself and everything. And my, my parents obviously came from Uganda. They moved to Latchworth, uh, Hertfordshire. And uh, then I was working in Welling Garden City. Well, it's fantastic. You're settled now. You're doing your music here in the UK. Thank you. And we want it to do well. Let's move on to the next song. Which yeah, one are you The sing next song us? will be from uh, Kanyadan, Likhe Jo Khat Tujhe. Thank you. Likhe Jo Khat Tujhe वो तेरी याद में हजारों रंग के 
नजारे बन गए लिखे जो खत तुझे वो तेरी याद में हजारों रंग के नजारे बन गए सवेरा जब हुआ तो फूल बन गए जो राई तो सितारे बन गए लिखे जो खत तुझे Technic College was the first ever college you attended in UK. Yes, I did. Yeah. What were you studying there? I was studying further uh, advanced level. Advanced level yeah. education, further education. Yeah, further you know, education. College. So after that college, you didn't go to university or nothing like that. No, you I didn't. Decided you no, I didn't. Go to <laughs> so is it? Uh, well, shall I say, foreigner coming to a country? here and uh, you know didn't want to study because of whatever reason you had yeah, yeah. You, got, you had your I first had my job. own circumstances yes. what kind of job did you get at that time at the time I got manufacturing industry because uh, uh, I was in manufacturing because at that time the manufacturing was still good mm. so I started as a stock controller obviously uh, I like planning and analysis mm -hmm. and I'm very good with figure work so I started as a stock controller in manufacturing industry and I still worked Till at least 1992. So you worked for industries. a long time. Yes, and then I obviously I moved to into IT. You right? moved into IT, yes. uh, and this is where you began touring the whole. That's uh, right. I uh, mean, I have been to Austria uh, on contract work, where I enjoyed. So how very much do much you enjoy IT work, information technology? It's just that uh, I like the computer. Mm. computers and mm. uh, so I did enjoy the administration part of it mm -hmm. you know doing project management I, I know you've been to Germany Frankfurt yes and I have other been places. to Germany in doing mm. the database administration in one of the uh, big companies it's really uh, really fascinating for me because IT you can control it from anywhere in the world that's really. right. and IT is running the world at the moment Th that's it yeah. uh, where, where did the interest came from well, obviously from becoming a stock controller it's a totally it different came job. from the actually computers mm -hmm. when it started with the computers mm -hmm. uh, obviously at when it came out it mm -hmm. was very expensive yeah. uh, so I started learning myself you know at home and uh, you know sometimes when I think of computers and the work people used to do uh, 
back in the days where there was no computer it must have been really really yeah difficult. i think we had a vex system we had we still had videos you know doing purchase orders and all that stuff right but now yeah. obviously it's more advanced it's more learning. advanced now uh, now i'm out of date yeah <laughs> i'm only doing music <laughs> <laughs> you only doing music yeah no no more stock control no more stock control <laughs> well well done to you Thank for moving you. with your uh, music. Let's talk about your music. I mean, music is something really important and That's this is right, where yeah. we come in because yeah. we want to know about your music. That's right, right, yeah. Where did your music begin? I, it began as a childhood, you know, mm. as a natural singer. Uh, I used to sing in classes, mm. you know, in uh, Hindi songs uh, and also at that in time... In Uganda? In Uganda. At mm. that time, uh, it used to be... Uh, uh, Cliff Richard and also Elvis Presley. Elvis I used Presley. to imitate them as well at this time, whether I do, you know, broken English or not. But I used to love music f since then. Right. And then obviously, you know, uh, I have been to uh, television, national television in, 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 in Uganda, Uganda? Wow. At, at the age of 13. Uh, we had a band, you know, we were all young, nice band uh, with accordion player. Uh, you know, congos and, and uh, you know, drums and uh, uh, we, we, uh, we enjoyed, uh, you know, practicing together and then uh, one of the uh, recommendation came from a third party that these are uh, doing well. So I had the opportunity f for, for a presenter to come to our house and they saw us. Uh, the only reason he took me on was of my actions. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not joking. That's true. And then obviously, you know, I mean, I was coming up, you know, I was singing all these songs before as well, you know. Uh, you know what, Raj, obviously I want to know about your experience you had in the t television at the young age yeah. and the performances that you did. But before that, we have to move on to another song now. Which song are you going to sing? I'll be singing... Uh, Rutte Ramastana. Wow, wonderful song. Three version, yeah? three. Three version. <laughs> नशे में सारा जहां है आए शराबी मौसम बहकाए रूप तेरा मस्ताना प्यार मेरा दीवाना भूल कोई हमसे ना हो जाए Rupa 
तेरा मस्ताना प्यार मेरा दीवाना भूल गई हमसे ना हो जाए रहा है हमको जमाना दूर ही रहना पास न आना रोक रहा है हमको जमाना दूर ही रहना पास न आना कैसे मगर कोई दिल को समझाए रूप तेरा मस्ताना प्यार मेरा दीवाना भूल कोई हमसे ना हो जाए रूप तेरा मस्ताना प्यार मेरा दीवाना भूल कोई हमसे ना हो जाए राज वंडरफुल a really nice fantastic but what i really want to know from yourself is you know when you're moving your body and yeah. everything you know is there any special classes that you attended to or you just no, a no, natural no no it's a natural from my i'm going to when i come back after the break i'll continue with that the reason why because okay. one of the singer who came to my show uh -huh. well music canada yeah. and she was saying she wants to attend the classes for body language and i want to know from you how important it is when we come back okay sure. dear viewers you're watching music and adda shatita kun will be back right after the break